we will start today's class we will see areas of trapezoids and kites and then we will uh, see couple of more slides which are in the next topic about perimeters of uh, polygon and then uh, i will give you time to work on the test okay let's get started Write a paragraph proof given JKLM is a trapezoid with bases JK and ML. We have JK and ML as the basis. Find the area. Uh, the area of the trapezoid is nothing but half of H types of B1 plus B2. That's what they are saying us that this will be the uh, area of the triangle. For this proof, I am assuming that we know that area of triangle is half of base type side. Okay. So you will have statements and reasons. first statement is always whatever is given I'm just going to straight away not write this but I'm just going to show you just uh, show by, show the written thing by arrow that this was given to us okay area of JK11 trapezoid is nothing but sum of the areas of the two triangles that you see. Area of triangle JML plus area of triangle JKL. Addition postulate of area then next. Area of triangle J M L equals so I have J M L is half of H times B2. This also includes whatever is given in the figure that is J M equals H ML equals you can add if you want. So this given statement also includes JM equals H comma ML equals P2 and JK equals B1. Okay. from definition of area of triangle. Same way I can say that area of triangle JKL
half of x times b1. This is also for definition of area of triangle. Then I can substitute these two in the second equation, substituting third and fourth in equation two. Okay. Substituting three and four in equation two, I will have area of trapezoid JKLM. equals half h types of b2 plus half h types b1 ok let me put this in that so that For this step, the reason was substitution property. The last step is I can take here half h common for both of them. Okay, so I can write. I am writing in short form area of trapezoid JKLM. I will just write area of JKLM equals. I can take half H common from both the terms and leave B1 plus B2 inside the parenthesis by distributive property. This is your area of uh, trapezoid. Just don't have this one area of trapezoid as half h plus b1 plus b2, where h is the height and b1 and b2 are the two parallel bases. Okay. This is supposed to be parallel and even here it's supposed to be 90 degrees, only that this is true. Okay. Keep that in mind. Let's see the next slide. We will see a few problems based on this particular formula for area of trapezoid. Before that, uh, we will also see some more things about Romba and kites. Here are two congruent trapezoids. How could we use them to make a parallelogram? Okay. How can we make this as a parallelogram? And uh, we already found the uh, formula for area of trapezoid. Okay. We can make this particular figure like parallelogram. Let me call this as A, B, C, T call this as E F G H let's keep it in order I can make this as a single parallelogram. They are both uh, congruent parallelogram. I can 
a concrete trapezoid and I can convert this to a parallelogram just by tilting the figure I can make this H go in place of B and E come in place of C so uh, what does that mean is if I have a trapezoid here this was your original trapezoid ok A B was here B C was here I am going to align my B C with I am going to place H here I am going to tilt the figure and place H here and E here H E here and G will go here and that will come. So I'll get a parallelogram of this type. I tilt this at here. And we already found the area for trapezoid formula which we will use extensively. Area of trapezoid was half of height times B1 plus B2 where B1 and B2 are two bases. So this is your B1, for example B2 and you can take this as your height if I want to. Height has to be perpendicular. This has to be the height. Then we can find area of this particular trapezoid. I hope you have rotated down the area of trapezoid formula. Here is a rhombus with its diagonal start, how could we rearrange to form a rectangle? This can be rearranged to form a rectangle uh, very easily. Let me call this as A, B, C, D, E. Okay. I can just place this word DEC over above, align EC above AB and AE above BC. So for example, just let's have here I had this is what I had A B D and C and keeping this as it is but I am going to get EC on top of AB. I am going to align EC over here. At same way I am going to align AE over this. get a rectangle and this part of D will go here right here I have AE okay. I get a rectangle what is the formula for area of a rhombus ok area of rhombus observe here is that the area of a rectangle is length times width right here length EC this uh, AC AC is one of the AC types you got to do this particular types ED right AC types ED if I do because this is going to be D as well okay. if I because I had replaced AC times ED is the area of this particular rectangle. 
AC types ED is ductic, but you can see here AC is the diagonal. So I'll call this as diagonal one. ED is half of diagonal two. Half of diagonal two, which can be rewritten as half of diagonal one times diagonal two. You just have to remember this as the formula for finding the area half of diagonal one times diagonal two as the formula for finding area of a rhombus. Okay, we can visualize it by rearranging you know the formula for area of rectangle is length times width. Length is here AC, width is E D. A C times E D is the area of this particular rectangle which is nothing but diagonal one times half of diagonal two. Which is nothing but half of diagonal one times diagonal two. Okay. You don't need a proof, but you have to remember the these two formulas for solving problems. Now, let's move on to the next slide. Here also, it's going to be the same. Even in case of kite, it's going to be half of diagonal one times diagonal two. For example, if you have this as A, B, C, D, let me call this as D. Okay. Let's keep this portion as it is. That is. Okay. I'm just going to keep this as A. B and C, and I'm going to align this DC on top of AC. So DC will come here, and say the BD. I'm going to align on top of AB. So I'll get a rectangle once I do that. Get a rectangle if I align it in that manner. I'm aligning this portion that is DC. DC over here and DB over here. I'll get a rectangle. And area of this rectangle is area is length times width, which is nothing but BC times BE. BC times BE. Here BC is diagonal one times half of diagonal two. So this will turn out to be half of diagonal one times diagonal two. So the final formula for area of a kite, area of a kite, is the thing, but half of diagonal one times diagonal two. Okay, keep this in mind. We will see few problems based on that soon. I hope uh, formulas are clear for kite, rhombus, trapezoid. Okay, we saw all the three. Let's go to the next slide. Find area for each of them. You have to classify first. Tell me whether it's a rhombus, kite, or a trapezoid, and then uh, tell me the answer for each of them. First, second, and third. Use your chat. I want first uh, figure which figure it is, and it's A. Same way, which figure this second one is, and it's A. Same way for the third. I want which figure it is, and A. Okay, I'll give you exactly like three minutes. Then we will go over the solution for each of them. Okay, as you saw, rest of you will go over the solution. This is nothing but your first word is your rhombus because equilateral, quadrilateral. And area is nothing but half of diagonal one times half of diagonal one times diagonal. Okay, 
get the diagonal one is 2.7 plus 2.7 diagonal one is 2.7 plus 2.7 which is nothing but 5.4 and the diagonal 2 is 1.4 plus 1.4 which is nothing but 2.8 now substitute these two numbers here to get the area half of 5.4 times 2.8 so you will have area as Seven point five six. The seven point five six square units. This is a trapezoid. We have given us base one equals one point two, base two equals uh, point seven, and h equals one point one. And area formula is half of H types of B1 plus B2. Substituting in this formula, I'll have half of 1.1 times B1 plus B2, that is 1.2 plus 0.7. I simplify I'll have area is 1.045 square units 1.045 this is point dot comma and this is trap And this is your figure is kite and once again the formula is half of type 1 times diagonal 2 here the diagonal 1 is nothing but 10.2 plus 6.1 10.2 plus 6.1 is your diagonal 1 which is 16.3 Diagonal 2 it is going to be congruent across this. So 4 plus 4 which is 8. One of the diagonal will be bisected, other one no. And you substitute in the formula which is nothing but area equals half of 8 times 16.3 which is 65.2. units okay I want each of you to try these two problems problem 4 and 5 once again I'll give you like a minute or so find these areas classify the figure first tell me which figure and area for problem 4 save the figure and area I'll give you a couple of minutes here So this was our kite. And formula is half of title 1 times title 2. Each of them is 1 unit so 1, 2, 3, 4. So diagonal 1 is 4 units. Let's see diagonal 2. Which is 1, 2, 3, 4 units. Substitute in the formula half of diagonal 1 times diagonal 2, which is nothing but 8 square units. Or this one, this is a trapezoid. You have two parallel 
spaces so it's a trapezoid half of h types of b1 plus b2 this is the formula for area of trapezoid height is going to be from here till here what each of them is one unit so one two three four units let's say b1 b1 is one two three four five units and b2 which is one two three units to substitute here area equals half of h which is 4 types of 5 plus 3 5 plus 3 is 8 8 divided by 2 is 4 4 times 4 is 16 so you have 16 square units as the area of this particular trapezoid okay, let's move on to the next slide find the area of the shaded region Okay, I want you all to find the area of this particular shaded region 1, 2 and 3. Once again, I'll give you like 3 minutes and then we will go over solution. As you all complete second and third, let me help you with the first one. This is nothing but shaded area. area of trapezoid minus area of this particular rhombus area of this particular trapezoid is half of h types of b1 plus b2 we have all the information required let's see height is given to us base 1 and base 2 are given minus area of rhombus is half of diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 half of diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 let's see if that is given i have one of the diagonals that is uh, i have this particular diagonal that is height which is 10 but i don't have this diagonal and this diagonal is going to be mid segment Mid segment is formed by, I can get this by taking average of the bases. That is half of 15 plus 11. That's your mid segment formula. So 15 plus 11 divided by 2 gives us 30. So this is 30. And this is your one of the diagonal 2. And diagonal 1 is also already you have is 10. Let's substitute here. Half of height was 10 units. Base 1 was 15 plus 11. Minus half of diagonal 1 here is 10. And this is 30. Okay. So further I can simplify this 15 plus 11 this is 130 and this is going to be 65 and subtracting I get 65 squared units. That's for your first problem. Let's see the second one. Second one is shaded area is area of kite plus area of square. Kite plus area of square. Okay, you are finding this and even this one uh, uh, this one third one it is two times the area of trapezoid 1 
plus area of rectangle plus area of trapezoid 2 ok so I'm just writing it short for area of T1 plus area of rectangle plus area of T2 or problem these are the heads we will go solution in another 30 to 40 seconds started let's get started okay remember that this on the second one you will need diagonal 1 and diagonal 2 or you can also say that triangle 1 plus triangle 2 if you don't want to do diagonal 1 and diagonal 2 you can take this triangle area of this particular triangle plus area of this particular triangle plus area of this square that will be a little more easier than the kind to get that we will need area of this particular triangle I have already base and height so this is taken care because if this is 6 unit this is also 6 and this is also 6 ok so that is taken care I don't have to worry to find this particular triangle I need to know this particular diagonal I mean the base and this particular height ok to find that uh, we can use Pythagoras theorem and get this one this one is going to be this particular side is going to be using Pythagoras theorem 6 square plus 6 square that is root 72 I am just not going to simplify further I am just going to keep this as root 72 this base of this triangle and I can find this particular I want to do the height right let me call this as OM to find area of the third triangle I am using triangle 1 I will make it area of square plus area of triangle 1 plus area of triangle 2 ok to find this area of triangle 2 I will need OM to find OM we can use once again Pythagoras theorem OM equals hypotenuse square that is 10 square minus this is root 72 divided by 2 this whole thing is root 72 this one we already found this whole thing was root 72 this portion only from here till here is root 72 divided by 2 so root 72 divided by 2 whole square that you take a square to find over ok so that gives us hundred so root seventy two square is nothing but seventy two over four is going to be root 82 ok if I further simplify I will get over by root 82 I have to find all the areas right so area shaded area here is area of square plus area of triangle 1 plus area of triangle 2 let's substitute everything area of square which is 6 square because side square 6 is given so 36 plus area of triangle 1 that is half of base times height so half of 6 times 6 plus area of triangle 2 here the base here is 72 and the height is root 82 so half of root 72 plus root 82 ok so 
this will become 36 plus half of 6 times 6 is 36 divided by 2 is 80 and let's simplify this as well this should be types right because it's triangle dot plus half of base type side so 72 types root 82 divided by 2 gives us 38.419 I am just keeping up to third decimal so this is 38.419 and then we can add 18 and 36 to it plus 18 plus 36 which gives us 92.419 92.419 that will be the area of this particular shaded region. Let's try the last one. Area of trapezoid 1 okay, is nothing but this particular height we need to know. This is 2 and this is 6 and these are h and h both are congruent. So this should be 2h plus 2 equals 6. 2h plus 2 equals 6 and if I solve I will get h equals 2 ok if I simplify 6 minus 2 is 4 and 4 divided by 2 is 2 ok h is 2 so area of trapezoid 1 is half of 2 times of 6 plus 4 plus area of rectangle that is 4 times 2 that types width and finally area of the last trapezoid half of this particular edge we found that is 2 types of this is 4 units because these two are congruent 4 plus 8 these two will get crossed out I'll get 6 plus 4 which is 10 and here I'll have 4 times 2 which is 8 and 4 plus 8 which is 12 ok 4 plus 8 12 12 plus 8 20 20 plus 10 30 so I'll get 30 square units. That's the area. Okay, let's go on to the last slide. Then I think the rest of the class time I can give to work on the test. The garage roof shown is made from two isosceles trapezoid and two isosceles triangles. Find the area of entire roof. They are asking only the roof. Let me solve this for you. So area of roof, I am writing it short form, area of roof equals area of two times area of triangles which are isosceles plus two times area of isosceles trapezoid. Okay, let's substitute and find the answer. So the triangle here is having base of 25 and height of 50. So area of triangle is half of base type height. Base is 25 types height which is 50. Okay, that's your first one. Then next plus two types area of trapezoid. Area of trapezoid is nothing but half of height is given as 50. types base 1 plus base 2 base 1 is 45 base 2 is 20 45 plus 20 so here this 2 will get crossed out same way these 2 will get crossed out for the first one I'll have 25 times 15 
which is nothing but 375 here and this is 45 plus 20 is 65 times 50 is nothing but 975 and adding both of them I will have area equals 1350 square units okay. I think we have done enough problems based on area of sky problems and trapezoid we will see in the next class period we will see about uh, perimeter and area of similar figures I want you to complete unit test uh, 10 test on the hub there are two files one is for finding the question the other one is for the answer and uh, this is optional work uh, it's up to you if you find time please try to work on this as well later on okay you'll have rest of the class time to work asynchronously to complete the unit test if you have any questions you may uh, chat with me individually